What up, y'all? It's your boy Eli Moore here, and welcome back to another video. I'm here with my good friend Marzify, and we're gonna be talking about E3. So I will be leaving his channel link below. He has a bunch of cool content and stuff about 2K. He got a story time. That stuff is funny. Y'all need to check that stuff out. And I will be also in the description. I'll be talking about uh, when, how long I'll be talking about these games, uh, when I start and when I end. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. All right, you guys. So first topic. Is of course the very confidential. I think <laughs> I don't know, but it's just the, the, the two games that are very competitive with each other. Is of course Rivals. Battlefield One slash Battlefield Five, aka the Goat of Call of Duty versus Call of Duty Infinite. Failure. <laughs> I mean warfare. My bad. A little bit of speech issues going on with my throat. But yeah. So personally, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna throw my opinion out here first. Personally, I think Battlefield is gonna have to take the dub on this one, only because it's more realistic and you can do so much more. Like, do you guys not understand that Battlefield is like the goat of gaming right now? Is the goat of FPS shooting games? Y'all play Battlefield 4? Y'all need to check that out. That jump was amazing. I'm for amazing. real. If y'all haven't seen the trailer yet, y'all got to see that. Like, y'all got. To to see that and that's facts y'all y'all don't understand but call of duty is like it's it's of course always going to be higher than battlefield only because it has such mm. it has such a huge fan base but it's, it's like slipping. even even though if you guys check the infinite failure trailer right now it has like over five you know over two million dislikes which is outrageous guys like how y'all finna dis I mean, I feel y'all, but y'all y'all, gotta chill. Y'all gotta keep on the DL right now, you feel me? I but, mean, and I'm gonna sit up here, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, you, we, both of us, we're huge Call of Duty fans. Like, I true, started true, true. with Call of Duty with, at World at War. Because World at War, what grabbed me World at War was the Nazi zombies. Like, and the multiplayer was down to earth too. That 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 stuff was amazing. See, he loves Nazi Tommy, so you know he's part of that Hitler squad. But you know, continue, continue, continue. I ain't, I ain't gonna come on. I ain't gonna stunt on you, bro. All Go right, ahead. I, I, Talk about the Nazis. Uh, okay, okay. But yeah, the, the multiplayer. I mean, at the time, the multiplayer was kind of it, it was good. But now, even, even now, because I have a word that was for PC, so even now I'll go back and play from time to time. Now I don't play it. A bunch of hackers and crap. So, mm, but. Back then, the game was the, that was the game to play, you know. And then we had uh, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. That entire trilogy is freaking amazing. I like my Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 is garbage. My opinion, Black Ops 3 is not that great. I was severely disappointed with that game. You're right there, you're right there, right there. It's, it's, for me, it's not good because all of a sudden, you feel me, Activision is a greedy whore. So you feel me? So it's that it's that hole that's around the corner that you always pass by, but you always pick up a couple times just for the head. You feel me? Cause the head is bomb. You feel me? But that's not what we're talking about now. What we're talking about is how Activision screwed over what kind of analogy? and screwed over Treyarch. Cause Treyarch's that little boy that always just. He's a friendly, he's a friendly little boy. And then Activision finna come over here and finesse and Treyarch like they know what they do. I mean they make Isn't that molested somebody? They make that sort of but like they rape. but they make <laughs> <laughs> But they make millions though. But you see, the thing is though, Activision likes to put so much exotic shit in there it's like that's what makes us keep coming back that's true though that's futuristic that, so like I, I can't lie but I, I i feel guilty i feel guilty they they pulled me in i my eyes they, they pulled never me. let you go they for real that's for real but i can't lie i bought some car points y'all i feel guilty of <laughs> in the black market but I, I bought some cop points and I regret ever. Actually, I don't regret. Actually, I do regret. Actually, I, I don't know. You need some nice stuff. Right? I don't know. You, no, I didn't get crap. I just got, I just got the hand, the hand gestures and some not even cool clothing. Was it, was it, a was it, it was like, dab? it was like Jesus clothing, like all scrubs. Did you get a dad hand gestures? Nah, I didn't. I didn't even get the new hand gestures. That's the thing. That's how. That's how. That's how much Activision finna fuck y'all over. They finna <laughs> bend you over and just open pull your, your hair and just open and uh, and then just nut all up in you and just leave you there while well, you gotta pay for the tax money of the kid. You know. Child like, support. Exactly. But you feel me though. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get both games. I'm not gonna lie, I might get both games. I probably might not even get Battlefield, but hopefully, if I'm still doing YouTube, 
I'll make videos for you guys and all that stuff about Battlefield versus Call of Duty, which one's better personally. Uh, but yeah, I mean, low key me, I'm gonna get both. As much crap as I talk about Call of Duty, I'm gonna get both because first off, like I said, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. Now I'm kind of slipping away, moving into Battlefield, kind of jumping on that bandwagon just a little bit. I'm not, I mean. I'm not mad about it because Call of Duty is low key kind of slipping because like I said even before Ghost, well during Ghost, we had Ghost, then we had, what was it, Advanced Warfare after that? Yeah, Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare. Advanced, what was it really? Advanced Warfare, then we had Black Ops 3. So three games have been disappointing. See, ever since Ghost came out. The whole oh. alien crap. Oh. Knock off Halo. Oh. <laughs> Ghost was some ass. Let me tell you that. that no one like Ghost. Not even me. I try. I tried to work with it. I tried to work with it. That but you was see, garbage. but you see, it wasn't clicking with me. Unlike all the other, like Black Ops Two. That was a game. Black Ops Two. Like I said, Black Ops Two, Modern Three, and World at War. Best Call of Duty games of all time. Black Ops all Two time. is my bitch. <laughs> it's my shit, nigga. Y'all don't get that. That's my shit. I go back to that every day. But Any day. When I'm 50, I'll go back to that game. Logan. Even if Xbox aren't main still. I'm gonna still go back to Black Ops Maybe 2 I'm sure that and finesse everybody. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. You have the game right now. You can still play it. True, true, true. But you gotta understand, though. Xbox 360s are stopped being made in factory. Yeah, but you still have your 360, and I'm sure it's still gonna work. Hopefully, if I keep it, though. Well, yeah, because if you keep it, you can, you can sell that mug and get a whole bunch of money for it. Really? Yeah, it's your money on Call of Green. <laughs> Well, all right, so the next, we're going to talk about the two next things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about NBA 2K17 mm -hmm. and WWE 2K17. So, we're going to, I'm going to let Mars probably take this one. Let me tell you, let me tell you, y'all ain't, ain't ready now, okay? I mean, I'm a huge, huge NBA 2K16 fan, you feel me? If you guys want to hit me up on PSN, that'll be also in the description below. His PSN will be there, too, so go ahead and hit us up. You know, we got lots of games we're going to play with y'all because we love connecting with y'all. Personally, I love connecting with y'all. That's why I'm gonna go to E3 so I can meet all of y'all and just meet every, just take pictures with all of y'all. Trying to hit that up next year, Loki. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to go to E3. If y'all wanna buy me a ticket, you feel me? Send that through my DM. <laughs> Slide through my DMs. And, you know, give me a little ticket. You feel me? We can help each other out. You feel how me? much much the freaking tickets are? I know. I know. I'm just joking with y'all, but yeah. So NBA 2K16, great game. Not really. I mean. I thought thing, you said it was booty hole. It, it, it's booty hole, but it's also a good hole. You feel me? It's that bad, a, what? It's good head, but bad head at the same time. So it's like medium? Head. Exactly, medium head, medium head. But you see, the thing is though, NBA 2K16 is sort of broken, as you guys can tell if you played it recently. Mm -hmm. They took out speed boosting. The bad speed is, boosting was cheese. It's cheese, it's cheese. Because you play against somebody who's mastered that, and then you were like somebody who's a 99 and who has mastered that. And you have somebody who's like an 80, you get dunked on, you get your ankles toe up every I mean, that single was, time. That was me. That was that 80. That was that scrub to walk on the park and never get picked up. You know, that made me... I'm getting very emotional right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything is going to be all right, okay? Because I bought VC, you feel me? Even though I might, be a, real, I might be a real hype beast for buying VC or real Jump scrub on that for train. buying VC. I'm, I feel I feel like a douchebag for coming on the court <laughs> Hype train. and just splashing all over the place with my limitless range and my 90 PG overall. Don't want to shot from the half court. Swish. For real though, I be coming on the court, but <laughs> let that day drop. Splash! You feel me? But it's it's that's how that's how life works, y'all. Y'all gotta understand if y'all ain't with the higher people, y'all gonna get left behind. Well, I mean, yeah, that's why I'm saying like. I hope that they are able to, cause to like, if you you were right in saying that the badges and all that stuff was kind of, eh, cause like in 2K16 when I played, I was scrub. I ain't even gonna lie. I I didn't even play. I played my part every now and again. I mainly played my team and my league, which that that was my stuff. That's been my stuff since shoot 2K. 14, I believe. I mean, of course, my was my league on 2K10. That's when I really started playing um, 2K. I haven't played that. The first 2K game I got was 2K13. I played the crap out of that. That was the soundtrack on that game was fire. Oh my! The soundtrack on lie, that though. game. 
<laughs> was amazing. <laughs> My man JV said that. Way go. Like, I'm not gonna lie though, the soundtrack of 2K16 is dope too. I'm not even gonna sit up here in front. I like that soundtrack too, but 2K13, that's that's probably my favorite sports game soundtrack like honestly like i think i'm hoping but they they improve though on the badges because the badges were kind of broken low key that's so true. like i'm hoping but I, I know i know that 2k isn't it wouldn't be a right business move for them to just fix all the badges on the next game then they wouldn't be have much to improve on the next game and then on the next game after that so it's kind of like, okay, I see where you're coming from, but what about you? Personally, I just want to play a game, 2K. It's 2K, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, Ronnie 2K, you best believe you better make 2K17 a good game. Right? And make the my career longer! Please. Gosh! Even though I don't play the story, I just skip through all of it. But still, it seems like a good story, like, though. Yeah, you know I'm saying, like, the my career story, that story was nice. It really was nice, but like I'm kind of to make it more realistic. I'm hoping that if they allow you to make the choices, like that would be nice because in real life, players don't just go down a simple road. There's a bunch of different stuff that happens. There you're getting you're given options and choices to make. You want to take this drug? You want to have sex with this girl? You want to go to this strip club? You want to sign with this um company? There's so many different choices that you can make. And so many different choices that you can make. It's almost like, you know, I, I just want it to be more and more realistic, that's all. Just so that we can have a different feel for this game. Because honestly, Mars Brown, tell me, tell me, tell, hit me up on this. Okay, we've had, to me, my personal opinion, we've had the same feel of the 2K game for the last two years. That's true. Typically, it's, been, it's always the same game. But it just needs something new, something fresh, something alive to bring back all the fans that left 2K again. Like, like WWE personally, I haven't had, I haven't had WWE since 2011. Oh, and that, versus Rome. And that was on the Wii, y'all. That was on the Wii. And that back then, the Wii was lit though. But you feel me now? The Wii, the Wii is sort of weak. It's sort of taking L's. But you know, this is more of Eli's sort of topic. But my personal opinion is. WWE is very good in my book. I used to watch a lot of WWE. Of course, Randy Orton, the Viper, always coming around. RKO at the bit. But, yeah. I mean, WWE is really... I think it might take a dub on this one, too. I mean, because, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, WWE, WWE games... Because if you guys know, WWE 12 was straight garbage. That game was trash. It was awful. Like, that, there was... The soundtrack on that game was bad. The gameplay on that game was bad. Because they had this old... All new, what was it called? Apex. I forgot what it's called. It was like some sort of new graphics simulator crap. And they, I mean, the graphics are clean on that game. Do not get me wrong, but for the time it was. But why improve on the graphics when the gameplay is still trash? Like, that's that's stupid. That's like dumb. That's, that's like making a burnt pancake. But trying to put whipped cream on top to make it better. That doesn't make any sense. You, know, you can't have burnt stuff and then have delicious stuff. That's like negative and positive. You just don't add up right, you know? Exactly. So I'm thinking, based off of how NBA, excuse me, WWE 2K16 was, WWE 2K17 looks really promising. Like, honestly. And I'm hoping they, do, they implement the same things that I'm asking for in the NBA game for the WWE game. Because, okay, first off, Get rid of that whack A voice that we had in WWE 2K16. That voice was whack. It was awful. Everybody sounded the same. And that who I'm sorry, whoever voiced that character, but you have very bad voice acting skills. Wait, that was my grandpa, bro. You're about to fight, cuz. <laughs> this took a don't want it, bro. He don't want it. So. Well, tell your grandpa I said he bad at voice acting. But um, <laughs> but yeah, that that was that was that voice was trash. Like honestly, I'm hoping. That they allow you to pick your own voice, that'd be nice. I actually wouldn't mind that. Like, for both WWE and NBA, because like I said, NBA as well, we've had the same voice for like the past what three, four years. That's true, that's true. Like Saints Row, you feel me? Saints Row's so creative. Like, you can do so much stuff in that game, especially the voice stuff. They have the high voice, nerdy voice, dark ass nigga voice. Every but like, voice you can is... change the voice by like the pitch. You can be it. You can have a D voice, like a gangster nigga, or you can have a high voice, like a girl. You know? 
So, like, I, that's why I'm hoping, like, not think the whole pitch thing, but, like, just implement different choices of options. More, more of a creative suite. Because, like I'm saying, like, I miss, like, M the NBA creative suite is good because NBA is, there aren't personalities in the NBA. And the NBA, well, there is, but, like, it's not it's like more how like, like, physical, physical, physical customization. Not really going in depth with it besides, like... Besides hair, eyes, all that stuff, but they need to be more detailed with it. Like we know we got yeah. the camera stuff That's and true. that, but that like, crap doesn't even work. It really doesn't. On, like, I'm, I'm, I don't care. I'm shooting all fires right now, 2K. But on NBA Live, because I have NBA Live 16, I use the NBA Live camera. That worked way much, much better than the camera on for NBA 2K. Cause I, you were able to use your phone, and my dude, he was balling on all them. Like, you see, but in but in NBA 2K16 though, you do face scan, you come out looking like Donkey from Shrek, <laughs> which doesn't really make sense. If it if you do the slow face turn and all that crap, shouldn't it at least be a bit better than you looking like Donkey or you looking like that sloth from Ice Age? Oh. Come on now, 2K. What's his name, Sid? Sid, yeah, looking like <laughs> Sid out here. <laughs> but that's just, I'm just hoping that that's how 2K improves. So, next game, God of War. I, I, um, I, I played God of War. God of War 1 was nice. God of War 2 was nice. God of, God of War 3 has always been my favorite. God of War 3 is my favorite. Um, Ascension, it was nice because it was kind of a prequel of the series of how Kratos kind of became who he was, like the mass murder that he was, and he killed his family. He was tricked by the gods to kill his family. That's dark. That's awful. So, I would, I in that game, I really felt for Kratos. Like, I, and Sony, they're doing a really good job with that, and I'm hoping that God of War, A New Beginning, because Kratos has a son now. He has, like, I never, I never, I mean, I never really played God of War, but this will probably be the first God of War game I ever caught, but... I didn't know. I didn't know. Like I, w I watched other gameplays of God of War, but I never seen him had a wife. Did he have a wife? He had a wife. He, he, he killed her. Oh. He slice, slice. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, I'm just hoping that an uh, oh, because God of War three. I'm hoping that they take how that game. Cause I, I really enjoyed the combat of the game, the brutality of the game. Because that's what that's what God of War is. God of War is a brutal adventure game. Honestly, like. I, I I really like games like that. So I'm hoping that they implement that into God of War in the beginning. That's just my opinion. I like that. I like that. That would be awesome. So on to the next game. One of the games that I was hyped for from E3. Tekken 7. The seventh installment. Well, not seventh installment. But the seventh installment in the franchise that has the story of the, of the game. This is the end of the Mishima story. Which Akuma is in this game, which is kind of like, eh, because I'm kind of like, ever since the Street Fighter Tekken crossover, it's almost like they kind of want to follow in Street Fighter's footsteps. Because like, even if you see the new Tekken almost gameplay, it looks kind of like, it's more, like, it's, it's edgy. It's like, it's not, and not in a good way either. It's like very rigid, and I'm like, what happened? Because Tekken Six and T and TTT Two. Which is Tekken Tag Tournament 2, for you all who don't know, that game moves so smooth. Both of those games did. So for Tekken 7 to kind of subtract on that, it's kind of like, oh, okay. But they're using Unreal Engine 4. And them graphics are clean. Very, very clean. So, have you ever played Tekken before? Never. Never played. A, only fighting game I've ever had was Injustice. And that was okay. Oh, so. Injustice 2. Injustice 2 as well. Injustice 2. I almost forgot about that. Injustice 2. Every battle defines you. I think it's what's called. That game looks clean too. That game was on fire, nigga. Oh, dude, you guys don't understand, okay? When when Superman came up and he had that little you like all and over they, his face, but then, like, but then, like, okay, like okay, what's his name? The Flash. That dude had to transform his shoe like like his his shoe was like it like oh my, that game looks amazing. I'm telling y'all, I'm copping that one. That's a that's a must. Like me too. Like I have Tekken Seven and Injustice Two. Them games are going to be nice. So on to the final game, the game that my that I'm going to be mainly having my channel around. The 
The franchise in my channel is based on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I ain't feeling this one. Y'all sleeping on Dragon Ball. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is coming out October 25th. Long time. And, and October 28th is going to be the Steam release of the game. So if you guys don't already know, um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is going to have three different versions. Three to two or three different versions. The first version is the pre-order version. Which comes with Goku Black and Future Trunks. The second version is the Day One version, which just comes with Future Trunks. And the last version is the Collector's Edition, which is 150 freaking. That's a pair of shoes, y'all. That's a pair of shoes. I mean, all these, all these companies coming on the rise trying to cheat y'all. That's that's a pair of shoes. I could I could buy some 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 really nice Skechers. I like it not. I don't wear Skechers. I don't wear sketches. I only wear Jordans, y'all. Jordans and Adidas. But I can, I can wear a pair of shoes with that. So, but that comes with, it comes with a Goku action figure, a steel, like, the, the Goku action figure it goes in the dark, so like his hair, it like glows yellow, like golden for the dope. Um, a, a steel case box that like the game comes in. You get, um, the game, you get a, the season pass, you get, um, all stages, all characters, you get, like future, you get uh, what's it called? Early access to future trunks. It's a bunch of stuff that you can To be honest, though, that does that does start to click in my brain that that might be a good deal. But you also see that's what they want you to do. Though. They want you to play yourself. Watch that toy break in like two days. For real. You know them, them, them Japanese toys. They cheat. They cheat. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. I I ain't been to Japan myself, but hopefully I might go one day. Because like, if you guys don't already know, I was in Japan for a little while, and them. Oh my gosh, they have some of the nicest Dragon Ball slash Naruto slash Bleach, Attack on Titan. All of them. All the animes you can think of. They have some really nice, and they have some really nice action figures and posters. Some that you would probably never see. Like I lit I saw a Super Saiyan 5 Gogeta over there. Like that's amazing. Like they were so clean. So yeah, so back to Dragon Ball Universe 2. The story. Hmm, I'm kinda hesitant because I'm kinda like Because basically you're able to I'm you're able to you're you're a time patroller again. So you have to go back and fix the corrupted timeline. Which is the same thing that you do in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So it's kind of like, I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, if we just get another carbon copy of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, this, it's not going to go well from Bandai Namco at all. Because I know that, okay, I think Bandai Namco but, but, is... But what you got to see though is, they're going to add another DLC, which is based off of Dragon Super, so you're not going to get bored. With the same storyline that they, they're just adding on to it. But they added three different DLCs for Dragon Ball Super, and only the first one was good. <laughs> <laughs> like, only the first, like, in my honest opinion, only the first one was good, because part two of the GT pack felt kind of rushed, and then the Resurrection F pack, don't get me wrong, the Resurrection F pack had Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Jacko the Patrolman, and... Uh, Mira and Toa, I think, if I remember correctly. But yeah, so, and then they had, they gave you parallel quests, but you didn't get any main scroll time patrolling quests. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm hoping they don't do that for Dragon Ball Universe Team. I'm hoping that they continue the story almost, but they make it better. Because, like, like Mars just said, they're going to be putting Dragon Ball Super content within um, Dragon Ball Universe 2. But only as DLCs. But Goku, I'm pre-ordering that game just so I can play with Goku Black. No, bro. No, bro. Japan sleeping on my boy Vegeta and Trunks. Okay. I don't know why he's not on the cover, even though Goku is powerful, more powerful than Vegeta. Apparently, in the series or in Resurrection of Frieza. But did y'all not see? Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta put the spanking on Frieza in Resurrection Hell. Did not see Vegeta about to fuck out Frieza? He's about to bend him over and fuck him in the ass. Y'all don't understand, dude. Vegeta is the GOAT. Y'all sleeping on Vegeta, dude. Y'all already know my favorite character is Goku, but Goku took an L when he was fighting Frieza because of that little How you finna dude. get shot in the chest? 
Lots of laser. And, and you are a, a Saiyan God. Saiyan God. What happened though? What happened though? Yeah, I can't even lie. <laughs> Goku looked a little bit like a weak. And in, in, in that instance, I'm not even going to sit here and try to front. But yeah, so. and the, Okay. Me personally, like I said, because I'm a Goku fan, the color of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is nice. Because you got your boy Goku, you got Goku's father, Bardock. And then you got future Gohan, rest in peace, because he died by the androids, and they got his arm ripped off. So, yeah. He, 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 they all, all three of them on the cover, which is like, man, future Gohan, I'm ho he's in the game, future Gohan is nice. Although, future Gohan only uses one arm when he fights. He only uses his right arm, so I'm kind of confused. Because I was watching the gameplay between him and Turles, and he did a, did a whole bunch of kickers, kicks, kicks, kicks. <laughs> And he did all the punching with his right arm. Like, he didn't even use his left. Like, whatsoever. That's how OP he is, man. Feature Gohan. If y'all didn't see him in Dragon Ball Kai, which is a remake of Dragon Ball GT, just more up to date, he beat the fuck out of Cell. Even though he was taking a little bit of beating himself. That was Ting Gohan. Huh? That was Ting Gohan. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. But was he, it... Was, he was like 8 or 10. He looked like he was 8 or 10. That was Ting Gohan. I know they call him. I know they called him Tingo uh, Tingo Han, but he was he did look like his voice was like ten. Yeah, he looked like he was. 10. Like his voice was high as a mug too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But you see, that's how OP he is though. So Japan was like, let me make him have one arm because that's how much of a badass he is. But now Gohan is a little. I'm not even gonna finish that because man, Gohan. He's been snorting some coke out here, man. Because Gohan, ever since he got married with Bardell and hit that, he completely just gave up on his training. Like, if you guys haven't been watching Dragon Ball Super, or if you haven't seen Resurrection of, have you seen? You saw. You said you saw Resurrection of, right? Yeah, I saw Resurrection. Gohan is a. I mean, you can finish that sentence for me. He is a nuthead, aka cokehead, aka um crackhead. Oh, because <laughs> he's wearing a green and white jumpsuit. I don't know what happened to Gohan because he was so dope at the end of Dragon Ball. Because he, Dragon Ball Super, excuse me, because I'm Dragon Ball Z. Gosh. Okay. He was nice. Ultimate Gohan was nice. Especially when he fought Super Brew. I was like, holy crap, this dude is a legend. Like, you know, that between that and Team Gohan and Future. Teen Gohan and Future Gohan, those are my favorite Gohans. Teen, Teen Gohan, that one with Super Saiyan 2 and laid the smackdown on Cell. Like, that, he he killed that boy. But not, back to Dragon Ball Super, I mean Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Yeah, that, that game, I'm hoping that the story is good. And the graphics, if y'all haven't seen the graphics, them things are clean. Mm-mm-mm. Because they, they really improved on the graphics from Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the first one. Because, like... The graphics aren't too much different, like I said in my um, previous video, but they have changed, they have, they have made them more HD, and they have kind of changed the lighting on them, which looks nice, don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, I, I noticed that, I noticed that. You know, in the, Dragon Ball X Universe, it was a little bit more darker pitch, but now in X Universe, the more upping the contrast and more making the colors more explosive. Yeah, that's true, because like, that's what I'm saying, I really like the Xenoverse 2 graphics more in Xenoverse 1 because I mean like but one thing I'm, I'm kind of mad about I in one of the in the trailer the uh, anime expo trailer they had this you this I said this in the same exact transformation of Goku going Super Saiyan like he had in Xenoverse if that is in the game that's lazy animation that that's lazy seriously that's lazy because my thing is this I think I'm hoping that they are doing the same thing that they did with um, the Purika Tenkaichi trilogy with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, those two sequels. Because in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I mean Dragon Ball Purika Tenkaichi, that game was trash. That game was awful. 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 That game was terrible. But that was the building blocks of Purika Tenkaichi 2. And Purika Tenkaichi 2, you remember play that game? Yeah, I remember that, but it, it was sort of dumb to how you fight and then you have to time it. I mean, I don't I mean, just yeah, fight. I didn't, I didn't like that either. But yeah, Purika Tenkaichi 3, that's probably one of my favorite. But now, I really think about it, Purika Tenkaichi 3 was a decent game. It's still it's still up there, one of my favorite Dragon, Dragon Ball Z games. But I know y'all might hate me for this, but I really enjoyed Ultimate Tenkaichi too. Like, did you ever play Ultimate Tenkaichi? 
Now the only Dragon Ball Z game I think it was called Budokai Tenkaichi two two or three. One of those. It was the one all I know is that one fight is where you're the iceberg and Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it was the one where you make your own character? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna think I do. But I remember real. Yeah. But that that I think I like that game just sort of the fact that you were able to make your own character. That wasn't that the first time? Yeah, that was the first time you were able to make your own character. That gag game was nice. But yeah, guys, to wrap it all up, these are the mainly the top five well, top top like six games, six, seven games that we're my hype for. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment below, leave a thumbs up, and always go back for more.